Hello and welcome back. Thanks for joining me again as we continue to talk about the new topic called Storage Gateway. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about what Storage Gateway is and what are the different kinds of Storage Gateway, their purposes and benefits. So what exactly is Storage Gateway? A simple definition for Storage Gateway is that it's a way you can integrate your existing applications, let's say on your premise, with AWS storage services that you have in AWS. So if you recall from the storage lesson, what are the different kinds of storage services do we have? There is block storage, which we call as EBS, and then there is object storage, S3, isn't it? So if you would like to fully migrate your on-premise infrastructure's storage to AWS storage, then you might want to use a storage gateway data can be backed up to the AWS cloud, meaning that you are able to use data locally or just for backups and data protection, it just moved over to the AWS cloud. Or you can cache that data locally at your data center. In that scenario, the data actually resides in the AWS cloud and based on when people access the files, the files actually are cached locally within the customer's on-premise data centers. So no matter which way storage gateway is used, all data that's transferred using the storage gateway is optimized for fast and efficient transfers. So what is a storage gateway? An AWS storage gateway is a hybrid storage device. With this, you can have on-premise applications connect to the cloud-based storage seamlessly. So what are the purposes of a storage gateway? We can use it for backup and archival, disaster recovery, data processing in the cloud, storage tiering, and migration. We can also use it in scenarios where you have multiple data centers across geographies. And let's say some of these are remote sites. And then you can connect your applications and other services through, let's say, a virtual machine or a hardware gateway appliance using the well-known standard protocols like NFS, SMB, and iSCSI. And then the gateway connects to your AWS storage services like S3, Glacier, Glacier Deep Archive, the block storage, EBS, and AWS Backup. So these services provide storage for files, volumes, snapshots, and virtual tapes in AWS. This service is highly optimized data transfer mechanism with bandwidth management, network resilience, and efficient data transfer. So let's look at a little bit more at different deployment models that we have in Storage Gateway. So there are three kinds of storage gateways that we're going to talk about. One is a file gateway, then there is a volume gateway, and then a tape gateway. Starting with the first one, a file gateway. So you have a file gateway and file gateways where data is uploaded to S3 for use with object-based workloads. Remember that when we upload data to S3, we are uploading objects. S3 can also be used for storage tiering to allow for data storage on the most cost-efficient storage class. So if you recall from the previous class, we spoke about how you have various storage classes and how there's different costs associated with those different storage classes. So you can move your data from standard storage class to Glacier or to one zone IA or maybe even to intelligent storage tier. And then we got volume gateway. So there are two types of volume gateways here. So let's take a look at the first type, which is stored volumes. So stored volumes gives you the ability to keep the customer data on premise and that data can be periodically be backed up to AWS based on snapshots. So this is great for hybrid based environments where the customer would like to keep their data locally and they just want to use AWS for backups. And within this volume gateway, you got a cached volume as well. So cached volumes store data in AWS and then data that's most frequently accessed by customer is actually cast in customer's data center for fastest access. So this gives customer the best of both worlds. They get fast access to the data because it's cached locally, 
but they get all the benefits of having the data stored in the cloud. And then we have tape gateway. A tape gateway is designed for long-term off-site data archiving in the cloud. Typically, when we think about data archiving, we think of tape backups. Many customers previously had existing tape backups on their premise and they had an array of tape libraries. The disadvantage of using these local tape libraries is that tape as a medium is unreliable. Can you imagine trying to restore some critical data from a tape and then you pop in the tape and there's nothing in there? The tape as a medium in itself is very unreliable. So with the tape gateway, we are archiving data in the AWS cloud and this means that we don't have to worry about reliability of that data in the tape. So that's all for now in this lesson of Storage Gateway. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.